support. The maestro, please. End of another month that felt like another year. Boy, isn't that just a mood. Today we'll be looking at Mood by 24K Golden featuring Ian Dior. 24K Golden. Golden Landis Von Jones, so yes, Golden is his real name, is an American rapper, singer, and oddly enough, former child actor coming out of San Francisco, California. Despite his young age, he has a couple of pop hits already, those being... I don't want a Valentine, I do want Valentino, I do want a neck, I poke a face like a casino, and... Die. Dior. Michael Ian Olmo, better known as Ian Dior in all lowercase, is a Puerto Rican American rapper and singer who also, despite his young age, has a couple of pop hits. Those being. As well as. Background. Mood was released July 24th of this year and charted the following month at number 84. It has rose steadily since and on the chart dated October 24th finally hit number one where it still currently is as of the end of the month. Mood is going to be off of 24K Golden's debut studio album El Dorado which is yet to have a release date announced. This isn't even the cover art for the album. This is simply the cover art for his song of the same name. Despite the unknown release date, Mood is actually the second released single from this upcoming album. The first being... That's unbelievable Cause I'm shooting for the stars, baby Try Joining 24K Golden and Ian Dior in writing and the three producers of this single are K. Beasy, Omer Fetty, and Blake Slatkin Keegan Bach, better known as K. Beasy relatively new to the Hot 100 scene but he does have one hit on here that he worked on before this one that being All of this love is toxic Omer Fetty, the most experienced when it comes to Hot 100 hits, given only recently, having worked on hits such as. Go, go, go. She always be talking like she no, no, no. I saw that on that. In addition to. I swear to God, I never fall in love. Then you showed up and I can't get enough. Finally, we have Blake Slatkin, who has quite the discography if you look at all of his credits, even those beyond just production and songwriting. Regardless, in terms of Hot 100 hits, we really only have... Train Mood is released by Columbia and Records. Yes, that is the name of the actual record label, Records. Form. Mood is jointly listed as a hip hop and a pop song, is 2 minutes 20 seconds long, in 4-4 time, in G minor, and approximately 90 beats per minute. The song starts off with our guitar figure, as well as some ad-libs done by 24K Golden. <laughs> Those ad-libs then lead us into him doing the first chorus. Why you always in the mood? Fuck around like I'm brand new. I ain't trying to tell you what to do, but try to play cool. Things are then given to Ian Dior to give us the first verse. When I start to feel I am attached, somehow I was in a feeling bad. Maybe I am not your dad. Who then continues to give us the first pre-chorus. We play games of love to avoid the depression. We then get the second chorus done again by 24K Golden. Baby, I ain't playing by your rules. Everything look better with a view. Why you always in the mood? Which then leads us to 24K Golden's verse. So why you trying to pay your love on a regular? When you could be blowing up, just gonna show you love. We then get our second pre-chorus, but 24K Golden joins Ian Dior on this one. We've been here before and I won't be a big we then get our final chorus done again by 24K Golden. Which also then ends the song.
guitar. The guitar serves two parts, one harmonic and one melodic. Harmonically speaking, the guitar lays out the chords E flat major, G minor, B flat major, and F major, all root position minus the F chord, which depends on the phrase, because it's either going to be over an A or over a C. Melodically speaking, it pretty much follows those chords exactly, minus a couple of non-chord tones. You could try to analyze them within the chords, but you get some weird suspended chords if you do that, so it's much easier just to separate them out and call them non-chord tones. Bass guitar. Serving as a secondary bass line to the bass synth we're going to talk about later, we first hear it early on in the track simply laying out the root of the chords that the guitar laid out earlier, going E flat, G, B flat, F. It is then heard again later in the song, but that bass line is very much embellished with a lot of 16th notes in between any of those syncopated 8th figures. Bass. The formal bass line that we hear during the chorus is syncopated on 16th notes as opposed to 8th notes, making it a bit more complicated rhythmically speaking. Intro. As stated before, the intro is just 24k golden doing ad libs. We first get that B flat down to E flat through melismatic singing, and then we have that D and C going back and forth as he's saying yeah. yeah. Chorus. The chorus, done entirely by 24k golden, almost exclusively focuses around 16th note rhythms, spanning the range from F to D. The important thing to pay attention to are those 32nd to 16th note melismas that go up and then down. In my opinion, those are the most iconic part of the song, especially because it has the name drop in there as well. Why you always in the mood? Fuck around like I'm brand new. I ain't trying to tell you what to do, but try to play it cool. Baby, I ain't playing by your rules. Everything look better with a view. The only addition we ever get to the chorus is when it's repeated, having a second layer of 24k golden pretty much exclusively staying on that high F and doing the iconic melisma in fifths. Why you always in the mood? Fuck around like you're brand new. I ain't trying to tell you what to do, but try to play it cool. Baby, I ain't playing by your rules. Everything look better with a view. I can never get yeah. it to Ian Dior's verse. You can see that Ian Dior here is trying to emulate what 24k Golden did in the chorus, given his range is one note smaller, being only G to D as opposed to F to D. In addition, he does some more syncopated 16th note figures, as well as his own take on the iconic melisma. I can never get attached, when I start to feel I am attached, somewhere I was in a feeling bad, baby I am not your dad, it's not all you want from me, I just want your company. As his verse goes on, his range does say the same, but he starts to slow down rhythmically speaking using more and more eighth notes. Girls obvious elephant in the room and we're part of it, don't act so confused. And you love starting it, now I'm in the mood. Now we arguing in my bedroom. Pre-chorus. Ian Dior's pre-chorus is much more simplistic when compared to any other part of the song, simply doing eighth note figures rising going B flat C D. We play games of love to avoid the depression. change we ever get to the pre-chorus is in the second one where 24k golden harmonizes with Ian Dior almost entirely just a third higher. Before, 24k golden's verse. 24k golden again mostly sticks to his 16th note rhythms given there's a couple of dotted 16th 32nd note rhythms in there for variety. In addition he actually expands his range going from that F to that high G. So are you trying to pay your love on the where you could be blowing up, just like show you love. I will never let a shawty go and set me up. Only thing I need to know is if you wet enough. In the second half of his verse, still very much focusing around 16th note rhythms with the occasional 8th note, but stays a lot higher in his range, still hitting only that high G, but the lowest he ever goes in the second half is a B flat. I'm talking slick back, kick back, gang sipping 40s. You keep playing that the day with your shawty mismatch fits. That was wet for you. Mood is definitely 
one of those songs that sounds simplistic at first, but the more you listen to it, the more you hear, and thus the more complicated the track becomes. Artistically speaking, this is very much continuing this trend of emo rap that we've been hearing, a supposed synthesis of SoundCloud rap and pop punk. Regardless, I guess there's a lot to say about a genre of music where you can play or go against playing the The research for this episode was very much a surprise of names. One, there's a record label literally just called Records, which makes it very difficult to research, especially in a Google search, and that 24K Golden's name is actually Golden. Go figure. Why you always in the mood? Fuck around like a brand new. I ain't tryna tell you what to do, but try to play cool. 